All right, what's up guys and welcome back to another fun video. As you all know, right now it's the Guilty Gear Hunt event, and I'm sure all of you guys have been doing hunts non-stop for the past few days. Basically, you get double the crafting materials. More importantly for me, um, it always coincides with like the Blessing of Wealth, so you get 30% more gold. So it's always the best time to grind gold. I'm at about 97 million right now. And if you guys know my philosophy on playing, it's the only time I use leaps, hunt events. So far, I've burned through 100 leaps. Um, I may use leaps for the first time outside of a hunt event soon to grind more portraits. But other than that, I never touch leaves outside of hunt events, which is why I have so many. And which is why I don't really understand when people have energy problems. But it's probably people grinding hunts 24-7 outside of events. Now, so far, I've ground out about... I don't know, 19,000 Wyvern Claws, so look forward to a video of me doing that soon. But what I'm going to do in this video is I did 10 sets of auto repeats, 20 auto repeats, and basically I've collated all the data on what drops I've gotten to kind of give you guys a sense of what kind of items you would get from doing Hunt 13 all day, which is basically what I did. Now, I did a lot more than 200 hunts, but I only took screenshots of 10 of them, so that's the data I have. For all you armchair statisticians out there, yes, I know 200 is not a huge sample size, so obviously my data will not be 100% accurate, but it should be relatively close. It should have some margin of error, but it's not going to be completely way off. So without further ado, I'm going to start showing screenshots of my auto repeats and kind of go over my metrics on my runs. So let's get right to it. So if you look through these screenshots of the results of my hunts, um, you can see that my best auto repeat, I got a total of 21 successes. And the easiest way to count successes is to look at your stigma. Uh, every successful run gives you 20 stigma so basically you divide however many stigma you got divided by 20 and that's the number of successful runs for example here i got 426 stigma remember when you do auto repeat the first one doesn't count so when you finish it out it's actually 21 runs so 420 havoc means you did a perfect run so i got one of those my worst case i got 320 havoc so that means i failed five times out of 21 runs now I looked through all these screenshots and I had 184 successes out of a total of 210 runs. So basically my Hunt 13 team has a 87.6% success rate, which I'm fine with because that kind of coincides with the built-in 15% resist rate of Wyvern. I'm just chalking that up to bad luck if my TG freaking uh, gets resisted every time or something. Maybe I'll just start autoing hunts on repeat right now while I'm uh, recording this video. But uh, basically my team has an 87% success rate and now let's go over what I actually got. Out of those 184 successes, I got 8.7 million gold, um, four powder, only four powder. So they really dropped the drop rate of powder. Um, how much energy is this? 256 energy. 56 Mystic Medals, 10 Covenant Bookmarks, uh, 4,537 Wyvern Claws. Remember, this is the double uh, hunt drop event bonus, so if you're doing this outside of a hunt event, it'll be less than that. Same thing goes to the gold. Um, I got 20 Charms from the pet, 40 Manifestation Stones, 242 Dragon Hearts, one of which was from the epic dragon heart drop that gives you 50 at once, which is very rare. Uh, I'm, I'm tending to find that for every 150 hearts I grind normally, I get 150 drop. That seems to be about the drop rate. I got 4485 blues and another 8 from the pet, so a total of 52. I got 26 purple 85s, uh, 5 from the pet. And 485 epics, zero from the pet. So I hope that kind of gives you an idea of it. Um, as I'm recording this now, I don't have a chart, but I'm going to turn this in these this data into a chart of percentages and put it on this video. But basically, here are some numbers. So during the hunt event, this works out to an average. So basically, what I did was I got the total 
um, that I got together that I just said and divided it by 184 because that was the number of successes to kind of loosely calculate a drop rate. So during the hunt event, if you're spamming hunt 13, uh, you should be getting around 47,000 gold per run. Um, you're getting around 0.3 crystals per run, 0.02 powders per run. Basically, you get no powder and, I mean, one powder is worthless anyway, so I don't even know why it's in a drop table. If it drops at 0 0.02, they should just take it out. It's useless. Um, energy, basically, I was averaging 1.4 energy refunded per run based on drop rates. 0.3 mystic metals per run. So basically in 184 successes, I got around one Mystic Summon. Uh, 0 0.05 Covenants per run. So in 200 runs, you'll be able to do two Covenant pulls. Uh, 24.6 Wyvern Claws per run. Uh, 0.1 Charms per run. Um, now we know the drop rate of that. It's like point, it should be more like 0 0.05, I think, from the pet. I think, I don't know what the actual drop rate on the pet is, but that charm pet is mandatory. These charms really help you upgrade. Manifestation stones, I got 40, so it's 0.21 per run. Now, if you're doing a lot of reforging, reforging, uh, re I mean, what's it called? Um, whatever, turning it into 90, oh wait, yeah. reforging equipment conversion items is going to be the hardest thing imaginable because the manifestation stone drop is absolute garbage. So I got 40, and there's no 50 drop for these as far as I know, and 200 runs. So it means every 1,000 runs, you can only reforge one converted item. So that's going to be a nightmare. Dragon hearts are not too bad. I got 242, so it's like 1.5 per run or something like that. And uh, for 85 blues, um, I'd say like 0.27 per run. So it's 0.23 per run for the drops and another 0.04 from the pet, which is about right, like 5%. Uh, 0.14 per run for perps and 0.02 per run for epics. Now, I keep saying like 0 0.02, 0 0.14, whatever. Basically, you just multiply that by 100 and it turns into percent. So basically, I'm saying in my runs, I had a 2% chance to get an 85 epic per run. And obviously they change it so 70s don't drop in Hunt 13 anymore. So that's great. So we don't have to worry about that. But uh, yeah, that's my data. So basically very good in terms of like gold and claws, obviously, which is like the main thing you get from doing hunts. One key thing to note is getting dragon hearts is not that bad. Like especially with the 50 drops, basically it's saying every 200 runs you get um, a little more than one piece of equipment converted. Now, that sounds like a lot, and it is, don't get me wrong, but it, it took me about, um, I'd say, 10 sets of 20 auto-repeats takes maybe like 5-6 hours, so really I can convert like 3 things per day. And remember, the hunt event does not impact the hearts, so you could do this outside of a hunt event. Now, how much energy is 210 hunts it's 4620 energy so it's a crap ton of energy i used and this is not even all the hunts i did uh counting the ones i didn't take screenshots of i probably spent around 10 15 000 energy um, if you guys watched my progression video like i said before you know i don't use leafs ever i don't believe in using leafs outside of bonus events which is why I have so many of them from just collecting them from banners and side quests and never using them. It slowly adds up over time. If you're a whale, you don't care because you're just going to buy leaf packs and stuff. I have never bought a leaf pack, anything like that. I did buy the Guilty Gear packs when it's those like special packs that give galaxy bookmarks. I occasionally buy those, but I've never bought packs for energy. I've never bought Molagora packs. I've never bought any of those. So anyways, um, I'm just going to show a little chart of my own drop rates based on my experiences doing these auto repeats against those 210 runs. But really the data is for 184 runs because I failed like however many that, that is, like 20 of them. And, uh, you know, like I said, statistically, that's not enough of a sample size to be definitive in any way. But it does give you a rough distribution of what you can expect from drops. I think the most important takeaways for the average person from this is you're going to get an epic like once every 50 runs 
and you're going to be able to reforge an 85 piece around every 150 runs. So you're going to have to do 150 runs of Wyvern 13 to, on average, be able to reforge a single piece of gear. And that's probably what most people care about because they want to change all their best 85 gear to 90 gear. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you want me to keep recording these statistics and make the data more accurate, let me know. Um, the one problem with that is I don't really pay attention to my phone. I just turn this on and walk away. And if I walk away long enough, when I turn it back on, it restarts Epic 7 for whatever reason. So I can't take a screenshot, which is why I only have 10 of them, even though I've done like at least triple the amount of these runs. So anyways, I hope this was mildly entertaining for you. Again, if you have questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Till next time. See you later, guys. Peace.